Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Chapter 1 of Primrose's Story, Part 2, where we are going to go into the Sunshade Catacombs. Danger level 4. I'm not sure I like this kind of weird green effect over everything. Does that show up? It, see, it's not showing up as quite so green on the recording as it actually is on my screen. But it's, it's a little bit much. Right. Ooh. Let's get some combat going then. I am ready. I am ready. Lion dance. Moonlight waltz. Alright. So Primrose only has a dagger. The battle is truly joined. All right, let's get you tanking. No, not vulnerable to that. Okay, vulnerable to swords. Also vulnerable to dark, as kind of expected. Because, you know, Primrose needs to be able to affect them in some way. Not vulnerable to that. Uh The Lion Down. The Lion Down. My turn now. Uh oh, I don't know, not weak to wind. Fuck Suck it Each battle I grow stronger. Each battle I grow stronger. Essence of pomegranate. Yeah, the the green is kind of obnoxious. Shadow Soul Stone. Okay, they're vulnerable to shadows. Oh, I didn't get um. I didn't get the AOE wind attack on this guy. They're not vulnerable to this, but when the guard's broken. Primrose is catching up. Slowly. Ah! Stuck on a ledge. Inspiriting plum. Yeah, quite quite expensive. Something to watch out for. Hello. If you need anything, just say the word. <clears throat> I do not really need anything. Three hours. I'm pretty certain there was stuff over to the left that we missed. Uh, not left. The right. Oh. Okay, 
out into the sunshine. He's going to get away. I won't let that happen. And where might you be off to, kitten? Oh. <sighs> Oh no, Yusufer! Master Helganish, whatever are you doing here at this hour? <laughs> Funny you should ask. A worthless little stray, this one. But she was kind enough to help me catch a rat. Oh. Yusufa! Rin, I... I'm sorry. She was quite intent on keeping her mouth shut, but my boys helped her get it open. It seems I was too lenient with the girl. I won't make that mistake again. No! Time to. Hey, Rim. Where? Friends, aren't we? What? I was. I was sold to this place. Deathbed exposition! I hate this as a dramatic technique. It's so clunky. Here is this sad moment. Let's try and make it more sad by filling in some of the backstory. And the problem is, it's, it's very transparent. Also, you need to have a really good voice actress or voice actor to, to do deathbed exposition and not make it sound like melodrama. Okay. Is it finally over? I must say, at least her last. Okay, now we want to kill you. <laughs> if she had shown that sort of potential earlier, I might have kept her on longer. Wow, you're a bastard, aren't you? Time to kill him. Enough. danced enough for you this was the last night that i belonged to you oh was it now mm -hmm. so some wheels do turn in that pretty little head of yours here i thought it a waste as empty as the desert that's because you are dumb mate i saw you for the foul swine you are the first time i laid eyes on you Me? Yep. Tiny little thing, but I really like the continued text icon that just bobs up and down. It's got a nice look and feel to it. You're nothing but a stupid whore. You would have died on the street if not for me. Mm hmm. You have given me nothing. I have always danced on my own two feet. I have always chosen where I stand. Inspirational speech. Standing next to a death, a dead person, a dead friend. Oh, you 
think you're speaking to, whore? Nothing. Nobody. All these years. The jeers, the beatings, the dishonor. I endured it all. All for this day. The day that man appeared before me. I need your stage no longer. I dance for myself now. Primrose. You forget yourself, little kitten. But, but I understand. Oh, this yes, of course. Show. No! You an idiot. You wanted to see your master frown. Fine! Very well! You had your fun. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that naughty mouth of yours belongs to me! Put it where it belongs, and if you please me to my satisfaction. Uh no. I will overlook your impertinence. I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> Master, go pleasure yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answer, kitten. You know what I do with cats that bite, don't you? I put them down. Just mm, like yeah, that. May maybe... Maybe failing villain 101 and talking about the person that you've just murdered is not the smartest thing to do. We know. What a waste. Yes, a terrible, terrible shame. The only shame is that I could not do this sooner, Master. Oh. He's on his own. I just got seven. Awesome. 
that annoys me when they do that. It takes so long to get the shield down as it is. Um. I mean, that worked. <laughs> okay. Good to know that elemental attacks do a lot of damage. Heavy coin pouch. Didn't even get to steal from him. Primrose. You always were different from the rest. The fire in your eyes burned brighter than any others. I've seen many a girl in my years, but none quite like you. You fascinated me from the start. Come, come, Primrose. Won't you dance one last dance for me? No, you creep. <laughs> oh, gurgly. Quite the dancer yourself in the end. <laughs> Burn. <sighs> Guess you won't be needing this anymore. The village is still snow. I'll need to pack some warmer clothes. Farewell. And with that, Master, I do believe my debt is paid. <laughs> Yusufa? We are free at last, my friend. And so Primrose sets out from the shifting sands to a land of swirling snow in a quest for vengeance against the three foul crows. Where this dance will lead her, none can say. Tressa has spotted 252 currency. Well done, Tressa. Well. I think that was probably the most interesting of the stories so far. Uh, so. So Primo's chapter 2 is up there. Albert chapter 2 is up there. Tressa chapter 2 is over there. But we've still got a load of chapter 1s to go and do yet. And included in that is a load of random encounters along the way. Yay! Well, I could turn them off. What the hell are these? Oh, 
Yeah, I could do with getting promoted by the weapon. I wonder what else she can quit. Right, close up shot. Also, she's a lot lower level than everybody else. Um. Oh, she can literally only use daggers. Danger level seven. West, clear book, traverse to clear book. Sunshade, science bridge. Where are we actually going? We're going to clear book. Because next up... Wait, wait, what? So there's a dungeon there? It's a nice foresty area. Am I going the right way? Yes. Oh, this is pretty. Healing grape. I'm so glad it tells us at the bottom of the screen what enemies are weak to. Because that would be impossible for me to remember. Olive of life. Right. I'm assuming I'm going right here. Auto-saving. Hmm. Silver hairpiece. 
This is the kind of stuff that I'll do between episodes. Because actually, it's time to end this one. Yeah, I'll come back and uh, do this stuff in between. Let's save the game down here. So, Primrose's story done. And we're in the right place for, was it Alfin? Yes, Alfin, who was the alchemist, if I remember correctly. There's a purple chest there. Why is it purple? Oh, were those thief chests? Is that what our thief is going to be able to do? That, that strikes me as a very thiefy thing to do. Mold has a substance. Well, this is a, a quaint uh, cemetery. We shall explore this and the rest of the village next time. Hopefully you've enjoyed chapter one of Primrose's story. Next time, Alfin the Alchemist. Let's see whether his is up to snuff. Uh, so far, in terms of storytelling... I think Primrose's has arguably been the most interesting story. Um, Tressa's and Ulbricks. They've been alright. They've been alright. Bit cliched, but to be fair, you know, they're, they're all kind of cliche. Dancer having revenge on her master. Knight um, screwed over by his friend. Betrayal, etc, etc. Yeah, so far very tropey. And I do still feel that the combat system is a little bit bogged down. Um, it depends how often the game is going to throw new monster types at us. Because having to go through the the, 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 the finding out of enemy weaknesses takes a while. And obviously if we get weapons and stuff that are going to allow us to multi-hit to deal with these heavily shielded enemies in a more timely manner because at the moment the ones with like two or three shields it doesn't seem to change how many hp they've got they still have a big hp pool and then a chunk of shields on top i wonder if magic and stuff will be more beneficial for dealing with that maybe there are elemental weapons and stuff that will will help i have some reservations i think about the combat system um is this game worth the the full-on price that square enix keeps asking for it i can't say i am super blown away by this the, the plots are nothing original, even vaguely, and the combat, whilst it tries, is a little bit slower than, than kind of your JRPG norms. We'll keep on going and seeing. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. If not, I've got plenty of other games to play. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your evenings. Stay safe. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.